Okay guys, in this video we're going to talk about how to draw conclusions from our analysis that we did in our last video. So here's my analysis from our last video. I'll make this just a little bit bigger. So I have my correlation value and then I have my correlation significance here. Okay, let's look at this general and common um, correlation that I calculated out for my significance levels. Now I can see the general and common I highlighted in red in my last video. Um, so we're going to learn how to write up this correlation. Okay, this is a significant correlation. We know this from this p-value. So if I go to my drawing conclusions page, okay, phrasing a significant result. So I'm going to snag this and copy it and then paste it into my Excel sheet. Okay, and let me get the wrap text. Oops. guys can see this a little better. Okay, so a Pearson correlation coefficient was calculated for the relationship between subjects height and weight. Okay, so the first sentence contains our um, variables. So between subjects, um, we're looking at self-concept. So self-concept um, in general knowledge and in common sense knowledge, okay? I got that information from my key up here. Remember we did common and general. Um, second sentence, a strong positive correlation. So you have to state um, how strong the correlation relationship is. So 0.524, that's a moderately strong. So I'm gonna say a moderately strong positive correlation, positive correlation because it's a positive number, was found. Now our statement, okay, R is our abbreviation for correlations. You're looking at the relationship between two things, so R is the abbreviation. Your degrees of freedom is going to be um, your number of people minus um, one. So in this case, um, we had 80 people in our data set. So we're going to have our degrees of freedom be 79. Okay, you have to actually think that out. It's not going to be anywhere um, in your data, in your analysis over here. So 79. And then your correlation value goes here. So that's what we highlighted in red. So 0.52, and you can round up a little bit. So 0.52. Um, and then P is less than 0.05, um, indicating a significant linear relationship between the two variables. Um, so here, after this, you have to give some kind of statement. Um, as general self-concept um, increases, so does um, common sense self-concept. Okay, so that's our um, APA format for correlations. Again, you'll need your correlation values as well as your p-value from um, our step two of the correlation, how to calculate the correlation significance. Okay, once you've got that done, um, you're ready to turn it in.